So balling with long time no see everybody just wanted to hop back on here right into sports bets um just today we're utilizing the underdog fantasy sports book here it's just like prize picks um where you pick a player to pick their over or under on a prop um right now we are on the college football season stats here all these players again you can do over under uh mlb wnba is coming up um, and they have the stats or whatever you want to do. So right now we're focused on college football season. I'm going to do a football video for football season. So stay tuned. Make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe for more videos that's coming up. And today I do have my eight leg prop bet over here on the right side of the screen. Um, as you can see, the max bet is 250. But if you did place 250 on this bet that I'm about to show you guys, it's going to win you back $20,000. Again, this is season stats. Um, this is over under on player props. Um, these are some few names that you can see right here, Shador, uh, Cam Ward, some of these players are transferred, some of these players are going to have a great season, um, and that's what I'm really looking forward to, the NCAA season this year, uh, it's going to be a, a lot of excitement, um, the season is going to move from a 4 playoff team to a 12 playoff um, playoff series, honestly, um, so it's going to give more teams more of a chance outside of Alabama, Georgia, Clemson, who's been running the 14 playoffs, outside of that one four team that's always an outlier. Now it's 12 teams competing for the championship. Anyone can lose. It's similar to March Madness. It's going to get crazy. All right, with no further ado, let's hop right into this video of the players that I picked. Um, I do have each player's stats loaded at the top, so we can just hop right into what their player prop is uh, and then what they did last season, and then that will plead my case for why I do think these players are going to hit this mark. Um, again, even if you put... $50 on this, it'll be $4,000. So let's give it at a $250. Um, and let's just skim this down so we can take a look at all the players. Um, first up on the board is Dylan Gabriel. Um, I know he transferred from Oklahoma. Um, these are just some of his stats from last season, uh, previous season at UCF and Oklahoma here. He has always had a 3,000 yard season minus the Oklahoma and the last season at UCF, or I think he might have got injured. Um, and it was 75 yards away from that 3,000 yard season. Last season, his best numbers, he had a great year. Oklahoma, they upset Texas late in the year, um, and he finished with 3,600 yards. Uh, Gabriel is a pretty good quarterback. He's pretty talented. They have him at 3,500 yards on the sports book. Again, he, last season, he threw for 3,600. And again, I was just watching my, doing my own research as well. But if he throws for about 4,700 yards this season, which will be a breakout year, of course, could be a Heisman candidate, of course, um, then he surpasses the most passing yards of all time, passing Case Keenum. So um, 3,600 yards on other dog is not high at all, 35, really. He just threw 36 last season, and if he goes for 4,000, if he gets that higher 4,000, he has the potential to be the number one passer quarterback of all time. So I think that is really doable for him. Um, and we see what Bo Nix did last season with Oregon. They are a pass first team, and they do put up a lot of points. So keep that in mind. Carson Beck, of course, a uh, quarterback coming out of Georgia. Um, let's see his stats right here. Pretty good quarterback. Uh, they did pretty well last season. Minus the last couple games of the year, I don't think they went to the championship um, for the playoffs. But they did play Florida State, who had a strong case last year, but they lost their quarterback. So a lot of people didn't really expect them. So that's why I really like the 12-team playoff run. Uh, anybody in the top 12 can make it. So... Um, but Carson Beck last season threw for 3,700 yards. Uh, I think he's a pretty good quarterback. I think Georgia will be top one to three the whole year. Um, they have a good team, and they only have him at 3,300 yards. So he threw 36, 37 last year, and 39, actually, or whatever this says. But he got him at 33. Can't beat that. I picked a higher on him. Jalen Miro, uh, another quarterback on my list. And guys, also, um, I got three of these uh, eight legs coming up. These are players I really, like, watched last season and looked at their stats and just did my research on these players as well, that each one um, is pretty good. And I think all their stats that they have on these props over and under, I think they all can achieve because they all did it last season. And they all are stepping into a larger role. Um, Jalen Milrow, I don't know if I had his stats looked up here, but... Hey, let's just look it up real fast on here. So with Jalen Milrow, to me, uh, he's not that, you know, he's not a pass-first quarterback. Um, he is a run-first quarterback to me, but his stats last season, he had 2,700 yards, 828 after, I guess, the bowl games. 
Um, and they have him marked at 26 this season. Um, and then the quarterback from Washington, who just left Michael Penix, and this was in the championship. They just left Al uh, Washington, and now he's the coach of Alabama. The first regime of uh, new head re coach regime outside of Nick Saban with Alabama. So it's very interesting to see how that's going to go this season. But I do think uh, with uh, the quarterback, the coach from Washington coming over with the experience with Michael Penix, he's going to make Jalen Milrow a more of an in-pocket passer, and that's what the strengths he needs to improve on if he really wants to get drafted in the NFL next season. His talent, athleticism is out the roof. Um, he just needs to work on those passing skills a little bit more in my eyes, but I do have him going over that 2,600 passing yards easily. Um, next person is going to go to Noah Fafita. Um, a lot of people had them on his board. Uh, Arizona was like a sleeper team last year. They have him at 3,000 yards, and let's see his stats for this season. Uh, or from last season. Uh, he had a pretty good year, uh, banking on 2,500 yards, 2,800 um, after, I guess, the bowl games. And Underdog has him at 3,000. This is a tight one right here. Um, he's like one of the only people that I have who hasn't reached the prop bet last season that I'm betting on to hit it over this season. Um, their Underdog team, they have a pretty, he has a pretty good upside. He is a small quarterback. Um, but I think Arizona has... Uh, the wit to compete and can definitely just based off his stats last season he has a bunch of coming into that senior year that nucleus around him coming back into the same system I believe he can do that again and still upset a couple people so bear with us on that no Fafita one um, doesn't look as logical but I do think he has the high upside Brady Cook is another player last season that I uh, was looking at as well um, just with his stats, he threw 25 and then 31, and now he's coming into his senior last year. Um, and I do think he can throw over that 3,050. Um, Missouri was pretty good last season. They was top ranked. Uh, Brady Cook was a pretty solid quarterback coming off his passes. 66% um, you know, completion rate is not bad. You're throwing the ball about 350 times. Um, and these stats can't, you know, pretty good. His rating was 151, 58. Like that's top QB rating, um, so you can't you can't knock this guy. Um, he's pretty good. Coming to his senior year, I do think he can accomplish that three thousand yards. Uh, next person, of course, Shador Sanders. Um, you know, save one of the best for last. Don't want to put him always talked about in the first part of the video. But of course, Shador. Um, he's another player who I think can exceed the uh, stats here. Even at Jackson State, the guy was throwing three thousand yards, bro. Thirty three hundred last year. But the year before at Jackson State, and then 3,200 um, last year at Colorado. With Colorado, he took 52 sacks. Um, everything is on the up with him. I feel like he's going to continue on this drive as one of the better quarterbacks in this upcoming drive. His accuracy is unremarkable. But I do think that's what Colorado did. They got better interior players, linemen, D-line, and O-line. So he should be uh, protected a little bit more. And I think hopefully he should have some more time to throw the ball. But... Um, I see him going for 3,500 yards easily. Um, could go for 4,000. Travis Hunter's back playing a full season at receiver um, and cornerback, obviously playing both sides. But uh, Shador, I think, is going to make the case for number one quarterback to be selected in the, in the next year NFL draft, of course. Uh, then we got Garrett Green. Um, kind of a sleeper pick here, I would say. Uh, last year he did throw for 2,100 yards, 24 on, on the outside after some bowl games. Um... I do think this year he has a full command. He only threw 250 yards, so he has a full season, a full offseason to come in with the team. And they only got him thrown again to the same amount of yards, 2,100, uh, which I do think he should be able to surpass. That's not hard for a quarterback at all, um, unless you're throwing, like, 50 yards, 70 yards a game. Some quarterbacks, you know, 150, 300-yard games, you know, in three weeks is 900 yards. Um so in about six weeks, he'll hopefully have about 18 to 1,500 yards, and, you know, hopefully he can finish it off in the back end with that 2,100. Uh, last person is Cam Ward on my list. Uh, Cam Ward is one of the higher players on the quarterback's list of uh, prospects this year as well. I think he did play for, I forgot what school he played for, but he just transferred to Miami. This is a great school, great program, one of my favorite universities. Um, and just looking at his stats to the previous couple seasons he threw 4600 yards his first year um and then went down 16 but went down to 3000 yards and then back up 37 so with that being said does i think he can throw that three thirty three 
31, of course, um, with Miami. They got a couple playmakers. They should have did something last year. I think um, their quarterback last season kind of fumbled it. But I do think Cam Ward will uh, take the throne uh, with Miami and then can, you know, have a great season. Hopefully they're in the top 10, top 25, and hopefully in the top 12 playoffs as well. But these eight players, I do think, just looking off their stats and everything, was pretty great. Pretty good ceiling for all of them. I do think they're all capable of passing their props. And, guys, uh, stay tuned. We got some more underdog videos. Um, this is not even my for sure lock. This is just me just doing my four due diligence on the stats. Um, just going through, looking at each player last season, what these lines are here. And that's how I'm making my decision, guys. But stay tuned. Um, like I said, here, 250 to 20,000 is crazy. Um, even 200 can win you 16,000, guys. But even 25 can win you $2,000. So. Uh, guys, I hope you uh, like, comment, subscribe on this video. Make sure you uh, follow this because I will be posting the um, results at the end of the season, of course. And then hopefully we can smack for something large like that. Um, but guys, just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We got more videos coming in.